Shalom. I will give a praise on the glory to Hal Ba Shema Hal Shaiba Shemrak Hakadash and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mills on Thomas Truth and peace blessings and salutations to the whole for let. And yeah, man, let's just get straight into it. <clears throat> Why do you keep using this Jesus? This is patterned after an image that was created by Warner Selman, 1940, I believe it was. He was asked to create this image so that they could make small uh, wallet-sized reproductions of it to hand out to the servicemen. The image was so widely distributed and uh, still is today. It be the uh, traditional representation that when people look at it, they think, well, this is what Christ looks like. This is that Satan masquerades as an angel of light. And when you look that up in the original... <laughs> yeah, being Esau either. Because <clears throat> that was Satan going into... Um, what was it again? Yeah, an adversary or even um, an accuser, man. <clears throat> like I mean, it's mentioned, um, which is the devil etymology. <clears throat> and I'm reading from here, and it says the devil, Satan. And which is general use meant an accuser and a slanderer. So you would basically call Oh this girl man. Why is it oh. You know what forget it man I'ma carry on with the video and that girl can wait Um Where was I yeah And we know that the slanderer or the accuser is Esau Edom because he's the one who accuses us before our power day and night as it's made mention in Revelation 12 man <clears throat> not Revelation 12 wait you know what let me have a look at it accuser brethren cast down or well, maybe I spelled that wrong Oh yeah, Revelation 12. <clears throat> and you know what? I might as well start verse 9. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. I remember what um, the etymology said for devil. Someone who's an accuser and a slanderer. And that's exactly what those two words mean. We could even go in deeper. Devil meaning deceiver. <laughs> and Satan meaning adversary. This adversary of the Israelites is Esau Edom, man. And it says, um, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And his angel, and the word angel meaning um, messenger. And we know Esau's messengers or ministers or his angels are his teeth. Also known as his army or military. <clears throat> and then when it talks about being cast out of heaven or fallen from heaven, it's making mention of them falling from their power, falling from rulership, man. Because that's what's going to happen to them. When the Lord comes back, the Lord's going to take them out of power, out of that rulership, man. Unless, unless, um, yeah, another scripture, because it made mention of, um, the one, the one who, um, deceives the whole world. And also it makes mention of the old serpent, which that serpent or that same spirit goes back to, um, to the garden man which was a serpent like man or a man who has the characteristics of a serpent man <laughs> psalm 15 16 it says but unto the wicked and we know the wicked is um you saw edom as it makes mention in malachi 1 and 4 it says what has thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou should test take my covenant in thy mouth? And with Esau, Edom, they've taken the covenant in, in their mouth. How? By proclaiming that that they 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 are the church, man. You you got the the Pope up in the Vatican pushing his um pagan Rome, Roman um um pagan Roman um religion to the entire world. And then 
we got these Amalekites also who claim to be the people of the Lord. But they have nothing to do with the Lord's covenant, man. And it's a sin, thou hatest instruction, castest my words behind thee. Yeah, just like Cain, man. Cain literally knew the correct way to sacrifice. And what did he do? He didn't want to do what was righteous or what was good, according to Yahweh Bershom Hamashai. But instead he did the opposite. And it says, when thou sawest a thief, then thou contendest with him and has been partaken with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, thy tongue frame and deceit, as it made mention in Revelation 12. It makes mention of um, him deceiving the whole world. And like it, and like it made mention in Revelation, like Psalm 50 and 19, their tongue frame of deceit. So in their mouth is lying words, man. And it says, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, and thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Yeah, and like it made mention in um, the etymology for devil, someone who's called, someone who's an accuser and a slanderer. <clears throat> and that's Esau Edom, man, our adversary. And let me go to Psalm 58, because it made mention of the old serpent. Psalm 58 and 3 says, The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stop with her ear. So you see, literally the things that come out of these Edomites' mouth, it, it, it leads to death, man. Their ways lead to death. Their words are like poison, man. And that's exactly what happened to Eve. Literally, that that old serpent being that serpent-like man or that man with, with the characteristics of a, a serpent being cunning, <coughs> being cunning and deceptive, he basically um, beguiled Eve, man, and literally used those deceptive words to make her go off, man. And like like he made mention, man, <laughs> Like, like the scriptures may mention through her <laughs> yeah Ecclesiastes 25 and 24 it says of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die so like I made mention man she, she listened to the philosophies or the wine of that um that man had the that who that who has the um the characteristics of a serpent. She listened to uh, to his poison, man. And what does poison do to you? It kills you. And that's exactly what Esau's words do. It it, it leads you to the grave, man. So my mouth is like an open Hopefully I can spell it right. Yeah, Psalms 5 and 9, it says, For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open suffocator. They flatter with their tongue. And yeah, man, a suffocator is basically... Um, a suffocator is basically a, 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 a grave, man. Or literally tombstones with dead bodies inside it. And that's exactly what Esau's wine does. It causes you to go astray. It causes you to commit iniquity. It causes you to perish, man. Let me it's a Greek, it's a word, Greek word that means to disguise. So it says Satan is disguised as an angel of light and his ministers are disguised as ministers of justice. And the scripture warns about this deception that's going to come through the Christian religion. This represents the son of perdition because it's really wow. uh, anti- Wow, this guy, you know, man said the son of perdition, that's the wicked, and it, he, he's right, man. That 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 man that that, that is pointing at is um is named Cesare Bourget, man. And literally, what his father did was his son died, and then um he decided to give reverence unto his son by making him the the, the the uh, the image of the son of God, man, and literally from there, when he first started doing it, the people were treating him like a god. 
<clears throat> and I'm wor I'm worshiping before Cesare Borgia. <clears throat> and that's where the um the pagan Roman Catholic Church comes in to basically push that image, man. And it all started during the Renaissance, man. Well, part of it, because we know um in the Greek Empire they're pushing Christos Serapis. That's basically where it originated from, Christos Serapis. <clears throat> and we know it literally it's the same people coming back on the earth, man, to do these things. Yeah, Job. Job. Let me go to Job nine and twenty-four. It says, "The earth is given to the hands of the wicked, being the Edomites. He cover up the faces of the judges thereof. If not, when who is he? And how did he cover up the faces of the judges by changing their images, man? <clears throat> by changing their appearance and putting these false images in." Need to open the book of the law. That's Maccabees 3 and 48. You know what? Let me click on it. Uh, yeah. First Maccabees 3 and 48, and it says, And laid open the book of the law, which be in the Bible, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. And going, going into the Renaissance, man, that's when they started doing those things. That's that's why there's Renaissance paintings. It's literally Esau Eden coming into power and changing the images of the judges, who the judges are the Israelites, man. First and foremost being the, the house of David. That scripture may mention, um, I think it's in um, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 6 and 2 says, you know, let me click on it. It says, do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more f how much more things that pertain to this life? So that's who the judges are. And Esau Edom covered them up, man. By changing the, the, the image and, and applying his own images. And let me see if I can find that scripture. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, where's my Solomon 14 and 15? It says, For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he have made an image of his child soon taken away. And that's exactly what the um the Pope Alexander the Fourth did. Is it the Pope? Alexander the Fourth, Cesare. How do you spell his name? Cesare. Parents, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, so this is his father. Also, say his dad, who created the. Yeah, <laughs> you see that former head of the Catholic Church, the pagan Roman Church, man. And that's that's the image they used. They used they used this as the image of the Son of God when they came into power. And when he died, that's exactly what his dad did, man. He made an image of his son for people to worship him. So let me carry on reading. For a father fits with untimely mourning, when he have made an image of his child soon taken away, now honoured him as a god, which was then a dead man. And delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. It says, Thus, in process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of the of kings. So you see, and that's exactly what Esau did. When um they were going out conquering and they were pushing um um Christianity on the people, man, and especially on the Israelites. If you didn't want to worship Cesare Borgia, you'll put to death, man. <clears throat> Christ or imitation. As from the Greek, uh, the word anti can mean instead of or in place of. Everything is being unveiled. Yes, we don't need to hear from you. We know we know the things are being unveiled. The Lord said the, the wicked will be revealed anyway, so it don't matter. 
Let me go to 2 Thessalonians <clears throat> 2 and 8. It says, and then it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, being the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And yeah, when the Lord physically returns, he's going to destroy Esau Eden from off the face of the earth. Like he makes mention in um Jeremiah 49 and 22. <clears throat> Jeremiah 49 and 22 says, Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra, and Basra being the places where Edom must dwell. And it says, And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. So, yeah, man, they're going to be afraid, man. <clears throat> they're going to turn into bitches <laughs> in that day. Hmm. And verse 9, it says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders. And like it made mention in Revelation 12, man. They deceived what? The whole world. <clears throat> and just like um, like their forefather, that, that, that same spirit that was in the garden with Eve, or should I say on the earth, because we know Eden or Aidan is known as um, earth. <clears throat> And that, and that spirit that just deceived Eve, that's literally their forefather, man. And he, he, he deceived her by way of his speech, man. And they're doing the exact same thing. Yeah, subtility. Yeah, it says the state or character of being subtle. Um, where is it, man? Now this is this ain't it. Maybe it's it's subtle. Subtle. No, that's subtitles. <laughs> it's like yeah. No, that's not it, man. Let me find the scripture. Subtility. No, that's not it, man. S U B S U B T I L Y. So so now it's it's just gone. So, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you see, this this is it, man. This is it. This is what I was looking for. It says, um, sly, artful, cunning, crafty, insinuating, and that's exactly what Esau Esau is, man. It even makes mention of of um. That's one of the, what's the word? One of the, I forgot what it's called, man. Yeah, attributes of Esau Edom, man. As he makes mention here, Genesis 25 and 27 says, And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man, dying in tents. So you see, there goes that word cunning. And let's see what cunning means, man. This is having got shown skill and achieving one to end by deceit or evasion. That's exactly that's exactly what that same spirit did in the in, in the garden with Eve, man. It came with its wine and philosophies, enticed Eve with what with what what he was saying, and deceived her, man. And let's go into this into this word. Um, let's go into this word. Um, where is it again? I think it's beguile. <clears throat> ah, yeah, here it is. Beguiled. It says, <clears throat> charm or enchant someone, often in a deceptive way. You see, you see what I mean? There's that deception again. And that's exactly what happened, man. That's exactly what Esau does. 
it, it comes with his deceptive words, his deceptive English, because we know that English is basically casting spells and literally goes back to enchantments on witchcraft. And literally, um, <clears throat> with English, you, you can literally trap people, man. The English, the English language is deceptive, just like Esau Edom, and that's why he uses it, deceiving people with, with these with these words, man, and casting spells on them and charms on them and enchanting them. That's Esau Edom for you, man. The damn deceiver, the devil. That's exactly what. That's exactly what um um devil means, man. Deceiver. And it also goes back to an accuser and a slanderer, man. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Halba Shem Shai and Shalom.